Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at how to install Jacket in a jail in TrueNAS. So what is Jacket and why would you want to have it installed? Well, it acts as a proxy for other media-centric apps like Radar, Sonar, and some others. What it allows you to do is compile a list of tracking websites in one convenient place. And then what Jacket does is translates the query from Radar or Sonar into the site-specific query that goes to that tracking website. So instead of having to custom configure every single query in Radar, Sonar, and these other media applications, you can configure them to work with Jacket and Jacket takes care of querying the specific tracking websites. Before we continue though, a quick note on torrenting in general and copyright piracy specifically. Because the two are often associated with each other, many people believe that torrenting is illegal in the same way that copyright piracy is illegal. I'm hashtag not a lawyer and therefore I can't comment on the legality of using torrents in your particular country. But what I can say is that in my country there is nothing wrong with using torrents in and of itself provided the content that you are downloading and sharing is legal and you have the legal right to download and share it. Nor do we particularly condone copyright piracy on this channel, so the trackers that we'll be adding to Jacket when we get to that step will be coming from the Internet Archive, which hosts an awful lot of public domain movies and TV shows all for free. So once we've logged into TrueNAS, I'm going to go ahead and open up the jail that I am going to install Jacket in. That's right, we're going to go straight into installing Jacket on the jail itself, so if you're not sure how to create jails, check out my video on how to do that linked over here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the shell by clicking on the shell button and that's going to bring me straight into the command line for the jail itself. So the first thing that we're going to need here is a package manager. So I'm going to go ahead and type in pkg and hit enter and the TrueNAS jail will tell me that it doesn't already have a packet manager installed and ask me if I would like to install package. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes and hit enter and it's going to go ahead there and start installing the package management tool. Package Manager in TrueNAS defaults to using the quarterly release train. That means that most of the packages are only updated once a quarter. I'm going to go ahead here and switch this to the latest release train. That's probably not necessary for you and you may be able to skip the next two steps. But if you're having any sort of problems and would like to see if they are solved in the latest version of all of your packages, this is a step that you'd like to go ahead and try. Because I'd like to edit the package manager config file, I'm going to need a text editor to do that. So I don't have one installed, I'm going to install one with package install nano. Nano happens to be my favorite text editor, but you can go ahead and install any text editor that you like. Once my package editor is installed, I'm going to go ahead and run nano and then a space with forward slash etc, forward slash pkg, forward slash freebsd.com. Conf. That will open up the configuration editor for the FreeBSD package manager. If I go down here to this line that says ABI forward slash quarterly and change this to ABI forward slash latest, I can go ahead then and hit control S on my keyboard and then control X to exit and I will get a new line in the console editor. So that will have switched it over to the latest package release program. Now that we've switched over to the latest release train, we can go ahead and run package update, package upgrade, and package auto remove. This will update our packages, upgrade our packages, and auto remove any package that we don't need anymore. This is a new jail, so there's probably not a lot for us to update here, but we might as well go ahead and do that. And just as that's running, I'd like to remind everyone that all of the commands that I'm running here in the jails, they will be linked in the video description down below. Now that we're confidently up to date, we can go ahead and run package install jacket. And that will take care of installing jacket on all of its dependencies for us. That will take about 60 seconds to run. Now that jacket has installed successfully, we can try and run it by running service jacket start. But if we hit enter here, we can see that we get an error message. Don't worry, this is expected. We just need to add a jacket underscore enable equals yes field to one of our config files. Why this isn't taken care of as part of the installation and we need to do this separately, I am not entirely certain. So if you know, why don't you go ahead and let me know in one of the comments down below. And whilst you're there, you could probably throw on a like and subscribe if you'd like to catch some of our future content. We can change this quite easily by using the SYSRC and then specifying in brackets jacket underscore enable equals yes. Once again, that command will be in the video description down below. That will switch the value of jacket enable to yes. And then when we go ahead and hit service jacket start one more time, the service will go ahead and start. 
Once the service is started, you'll be able to visit the web UI by going to the IP address that has been assigned to your jail, but you will need to specify port 9117 as the port you're trying to visit. You can do that by putting a colon and then 9117 after the IP address. That will bring you to the Jacket webpage. Once we see that the web page has loaded without any sort of errors popping up at the bottom, we can be confident that the service is good to go. So I am going to show you how to add an indexer to Jacket, but before I do, I just want to scroll down and draw your attention to this yellow check for updates button. If you were running Jacket on a Windows machine, that button would be how you would update the Jacket service. However, we're running it using a package manager inside of a jail, so the best way to update Jacket is to run the package update upgrade and auto clean command that we tried at the start of this video. That would be the method that I would recommend. Adding indexers is fortunately pretty straightforward. We can go ahead and hit the green add indexer button here at the top of the page. You might select a number of different indexers, but I know what exactly I'm looking for. So I'm just going to type archive into the search box at the top here. We can see we only get one result. It is the Internet Archive. If I go ahead here and hit the green cross on the right hand side, that will add that indexer to my list of configured indexers. At this stage, we can go ahead and hit the test button on the right hand side and we'll see that a test begins and it will very, very quickly succeed, indicating that the indexer is good to go. It is returning results. Now that we've got Jacket installed and added at least one indexer, we can configure it for use with Sonar, Radar and some other applications. Configuring all of that is outside of the scope of this video though, so if you'd like to catch that then I recommend checking out this playlist over here where I will be putting all of those videos as they're released. If they are not yet released then that is why you would do the YouTube dance to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and get notified when they are. Throw down a comment to let me know what you would like to see in the future. Maybe go ahead and give the video a like. Otherwise I will catch you guys on the flip side.